Hello guys and welcome to a profile tree Wix tutorial. Today I'm going to run through on how to make a site more mobile friendly. So yeah, let's get started. Um, at the moment we've got our desktop version. So I'll just run through how that looks at the minute. So you've got your header, you've got your hero page, uh, your products. Uh, so just a couple of bits and pieces, your Instagram. So yeah, so that's how we've got this sort of setup at the minute. Um, unfortunately, the mobile view might be a little bit, just isn't laid out as right as you want it to be. So just on the almost top left here, you've got the desktop and switch to mobile. So you just click on switch to mobile. Let that load. Perfect. Okay, so as you can see here, the layout isn't as high I want it to be. So you can modify a couple of areas where you can sort of like shrink down areas, make that little basket there, and like have it aligned. Or you could make the menu a little bit bigger. Have that aligned. Um, as you can see, we can manage the menu. and there's just other areas where you can sort of modify it it's a little bit too big just stick with that so yep and then the good thing about this as well is that you can also if you don't want the as you can see it's a little bit too big per se so you can actually hide that from the mobile section just have the product shown And you can bring it back, just hit Control Z, or just go to the history of the site. As you can see, site history. And you could just re revert back to any changes that you made. But yeah, there's a couple of things that you can modify on the mobile section just to make it more solid for the layout. So as you can see, the, the Instagram's a bit too big. So you could choose to just hide that from the section or if you don't want the location or a contact form you could just hide that element as well and as you can see and then they'll give that more of a clean look and that that can go through it for all the pages as well you just it's not just the home page but you can do that for the about us and stuff uh, it's just if you go through this little side panel here there's the elements and your menus and pages that's where you click on menus and pages and you're able to flick through each page and just modify them. So yes, uh, guys, hopefully this little tutorial has helped. If you have any questions at all, just leave them down in the comment section below. And yeah, I'll see you guys for the next one. Thank you very much.